silly old board, thought Thomas. He had often tried to pass it, but had never succeeded. But this morning, he had made a plan. The fireman went to turn the points. Now for my plan, thought Thomas. Pumping the trucks fiercely, he jerked his driver off the footplate and followed them into the siding. Come back, yelled his driver. Fire and smoke, said Thomas. I'm sunk. And he was. Hello. This is um, 1994 Wooden Railway Gordon. And today, you can probably see by the title, um, unless you click on videos without reading the title, um, we're going to be reviewing a Wooden Railway item. Today's item is 2003 Thomas. This particular Thomas I picked up at a thrift store about six months ago, I think, and it is my film Thomas, my Thomas that I used in my films. Um, the reason is he's not that banged up. As you can see, just a little bit of wear around the edges. Nothing too bad. I actually own another Thomas. This Thomas I got, um... This was my first Thomas that I ever got. Yeah. I got this Thomas as a Christmas present, I think for my grandparents, whenever I was like oof, around six or seven, maybe eight. Yeah, so it's it's put it's taken some wear. One of the reason one of the reasons this Thomas looks the way it is is because about a year after I got it, I found out that I could use permanent marker on it and get all the permanent marker off using a um, alcohol prep pad prep pad that you usually find in a first aid kit. So as you can see, I erased the eyes and then put my own in I put buffers and a coupler on I tried to as you can see right here I tried to color in the um, cab I put buffers and I tried to put like a light a lamp in the back same thing here cab and then I tried to draw the lines for the door and stuff yeah what happened here is the reason there's no name. I think this one's also 2003. Yes, yeah, so both these Thomases are 2003. Um, oh, also, yeah, you can see I put windows here and a whistle right there. The reason there's no name on the bottom is because I decided to put um, permanent marker over the name Thomas. And then I decided I didn't like that, so I went and got a alcohol prep pad and rubbed rubbed all the all of the um all the uh, marker off. Thing is, I left the marker over his name for such a long time that whenever I went to go rub all of the permanent marker off, I also rubbed off all of the name along with it. Yeah, and also it's, and then it just got wear from being used so much. So back to this, Thomas. I really like this, Thomas, uh, because, mainly because, it, <laughs> because it's not scratched up like my other Thomas. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Um. This item, it's a really great item. 
it's one of the if you have a wooden railway collection or set or anything Thomas should be should be the first engine that you should go after or have just because you know he's number one the 2003 Thomas is one of the best Thomases that I, th I think that have ever been made here's my reasoning one well Thomas this Thomas he does not I he did, I hate CGI faces so here is a shot of good shot of the face it's just a normal Thomas face I like the the um the 1992 Thomas through all the way through the um, 2000 Thomas. Um, I like their faces because it's, it's it looks like the original face from the original TV series, and I like that. that that's what that's the kind of face that I like. Um, same thing for this Thomas. Whenever it was new, it looked good. Yeah. Another thing, I have never been able to keep eyebrows on my engines. See, Thomas came with his eyebrows almost off. Other than Toby here, Toby, I can keep his eyebrows. His eyebrows is, have always been on. Um. Yeah. So. He's a great engine to have. Um, he's pulls coaches, he shunts trucks, he's he is the number one engine. And for a good reason. This Thomas will look great in your collection, whether he pulls coaches or trucks. And he'll always be Number one in your collection. This is 1994 signing off, saying thank you for watching, and stay and subscribe for more videos.